Hi guys, so in FL Studio, when you start a new track, usually uh, this is what you have, uh, the kick, clap, a hat, and uh, a snare. So you then have to route all of them to your mixer, and then um, that's when you have to apply the VSTs and uh, pretty much do uh, most of the work yourself. You only have a 3D limiter sometimes, um, but if you want more and you want to advance much faster and you want to make sure that you follow some of the best practices uh, from the music industry, just um, use the new from templates option. So usually you would do this new, you click and then that's it. This is actually a new um, project that I've just opened because I clicked on new. But if you go to new templates, usually we stick to the minimal, we would just select basic, club basic, or something like that. And that's how it used to be in previous versions of FL Studio. If I'm not mistaken, FL Studio 11, uh, you only had um, basic options. But now that FL Studio has grown as a digital audio workstation, you can then um, you can now select other options, which are super helpful. So in this um, video, I just want to show you quickly some of the options available in advanced. And uh, let's say you want to make a dubstep track. So uh, I was kind of uh, shocked the first time I learned about this a while ago because it actually gives you uh, the coloring and a bunch of um, effects. So here, this is my mixer. I've never touched this track. I, I just selected new and I selected the dubstep uh, templates and uh, see what it gave me. So I have all these uh, tracks here. If I go to my channel rack, you can see I've got all this. So usually you're not gonna get automation activated for you. Uh, but if you get, uh, you click on audio, you're going to uh, find this right here. And um, unfortunately, I have some sound issues, so I can play it for you. But uh, you go ahead, open your FL Studio 20 uh, application, uh, start a new project from the dubstep templates, select audio, click on one of these, it will open uh, this uh, pop up here. And when you click on this, there will be a sound. These are actually uh, real vocals right here. Um, and you also have a riser, right? Um, so uh, you can use that before your drop, for instance. And uh, then you have the unsorted ones, uh, which are the synths and everything. So uh, I'm sure most of you who do uh, dubstep probably don't know all of these settings by heart, right? So you, you have to do it by trial and error, but here, uh, maybe 20% of the work is done for you. So you have the pads and everything. And uh, if you go to the playlist here, the coloring has been applied as well. All right, so let's see another example now with um, a trap sound, for instance, a trap project. So I'm gonna go to file, new from templates. Um, instead of selecting uh, hip hop or something, I'm gonna start with trap, right? So it includes um, some mastering and stuff. Let's check some of the um, the VSC plugins associated with this. So I'm going to open my mixer here. I'm going to go to Premaster. And inside the Premaster, you see I have Maximus. And Maximus here is not the default, um, it's not the default preset. So again, you have some settings done for you automatically. If I go to uh, base, I even have some uh, EQ done for me here. So I can use the synth, etc. Of course, every track is different and you would want to add your own configurations. Extra VSC plugins, maybe take some of them out, um, do some more compressions, etc. But this is really a super cool um, baseline for your projects, uh, for you not to start from scratch, especially if you're in a hurry and that's your main job. You have something that you know is gonna sound cool because it's been done by the image line team, uh, which are professional uh, producers. So uh, they know what they're doing. And that's a cool starting point if you're learning uh, about music production. So there is more here. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Maybe in a future video, uh, we can start, um, we can just play around with all of them, jazz, metal, etc. But uh, for now, I think you get the idea. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys this because I, I feel like some of you probably just uh, you know overwork when you don't need to because you already have uh, some templates, advanced templates given to you. So just uh, drop your comments uh, below and let me know which templates you use the most and how you use it. And feel free to share um, uh, links to your tracks from SoundCloud or wherever you post them. Uh, just feel free to share those links in the comment section. I'll check them all out and uh, you know just extra exposure for you. So. Um, if you like this video, you know, just uh, subscribe as always, like it. Uh, make sure you turn on your notifications. That is super important for me, guys. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.